Most decisions are not binary, and there are usually better answers waiting to be found if you do the analysis and involve the right people. You can compromise without violating your principles, but it is nearly impossible to compromise when you turn principles into ideology. Among those people not graduating, there might be a Steve Jobs or Barack Obama. We'll never know. Some things never change, there will be another crisis, and its impact will be felt by the financial markets. I am a patriot. I want to help my country and help it grow. It's great that people get together and collaborate, talk about the facts and the analysis, all in the interest of having a great financial system. You know, the benefit in life is to say, maybe you made a mistake, let's dig deep. I am not responsible for the financial crisis, I hate to tell you. The government has the right to change laws and rules and regulations. In the old days, you dealt with one regulator. Now it's five or six. You all should ask the question how American that is. I am struck that so many of our leaders in the U.S. forget how strong our country can be. It's really important that policy be properly designed. It's not enough just to get angry over a subject. The best way to look at any business is from the standpoint of the clients. People and companies make mistakes. I guarantee we'll make a mistake next quarter. So what? Businesses make mistakes. Hopefully smaller and fewer. I am not embarrassed to be a banker. I am not embarrassed to be in business. First of all, I yell very little, just so you know. Maybe years ago I did more, but I yell very little. My retirement date, every time you ask me that, I'm going to say five years. I don't want to retire. I get to deal with presidents and prime ministers and, and employees from tellers on up, and I love it. It's good for America when the rest of the world grows, because you can sell more to the rest of the world. You read constantly that banks are lobbying regulators and elected officials as if this is inappropriate. We don't look at it that way. I would love to be the President of the United States, and I think I would be good at it, but it's too late, and it is too hard. All businesses tend to pass costs on to customers. While legislation obviously is political, we now have allowed regulation to become politicized, which we believe will likely lead to some bad outcomes. If the economy grows, housing gets better, quicker. Economies of scale are a good thing. If we didn't have them, we'd still be living in tents and eating buffalo. You can design a mortgage system that is different without a fanny and fratty, but there are principles you have to have, to have a good system. The term too big to fail must be excised from our vocabulary. As American citizens, if you believe all banks were bailed out, you would hate banks. I would, too. Unraveling the euro is a terrible thing. This is a 50-year endeavor to get this continent together and that's a wonderful endeavor. Abraham Lincoln never denigrated, never scapegoated, never finger-pointed. And he had reason to. I love my children. I spend a lot of time with them. People need to understand. Businesses are going to make mistakes. They shouldn't be shot and hung every time. 
walk into a Chase branch and we can give you so much quicker, better and faster. Like Walmart. When the government gets involved in pricing, I don't think it's the right way to look at a business.